Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna show you guys how to access and change any settings you want on the Apollo Phantom. So first of all, you can find this on page 19 of the user's manual. So, and I'll put a snapshot of this at the end of the video if you guys just wanna reference this real quick. So, with the scooter on, you hold the gear up and gear down button simultaneously until you see P00. Now, when you get here, you're in the settings menu. Now, according to the user's manual, it goes from P1 to P17, but this one actually goes up all the way up to P20. But again, if it doesn't specify anything here, you're good to go. That means it does nothing, just leave it alone. So starting off with the display brightness, this is how you change it. So when you hit M, it goes to the next menu. So if I keep hitting M, it's gonna go through the menu, and then it's going to go back to P1 and again. So it just resets to P1 and goes back, resets. And when I say reset, it just starts again from P1. It, it still saves your settings while you're in here. And then I'll show you guys how to save the settings at the end when you're actually done with it. So starting off with P1, that's display brightness. So mine is set to three. This is where you look at the odometer and that's the value. So one is the darkest. So if I change it to a one, you could see that it got darker and then I set it to three, so I'm gonna leave it at the brightness. Now, if you guys are wondering, this is the version one screen, so I'm supposed to be getting the version two screen, and it's supposed to be brighter than this, so this is a version one screen, for anyone wondering. So, go to P2, Imperial versus metric units. If you want miles, set it to a one. If you want kilometers, set it to a zero. I'm used to miles, I'm just gonna leave it at one. P3 is battery voltage. I don't recommend touching this. Mine is the 52 volt version. This is set to 52 volts and I'm good to go. So do not touch that. Auto shut off timer, set to five minutes right now. It ranges from one minute to 60 minutes. So this means that if I leave the scooter alone, it will turn off five minutes later. If you want it to turn it off sooner, change this to three minutes. In fact, I'll leave it at three or change it to one. That's the quickest it'll turn off. So hit menu. And we're at P5, which is not used. P6, again, another one you're not supposed to touch because the wheel diameter is 10 inches. This is set to 10, you're good to go. P7 is the motor magnet count, another one that's set to 30 that you shouldn't touch. I'm not gonna touch it, so I'm just gonna leave this alone, but it ranges from one to 100. I'm just gonna leave that alone. Performance limiter, five to 100%. Now this one's one that you could touch if you want. So 100% means that it's using full power. If you want to use less power, just reduce the percentage and it'll use less power. I kind of like it at 100%. And this is the performance itself. There's another one that comes later on. That's the acceleration strength, which you could also modify that. So I'm gonna leave this at 100. So kickstart versus instant start. So when it says zero, you see the little zero, zero start here. So that's the instant start. That means I can jump on the scooter, hit the throttle and it will go. Or if you don't want that, if you want to kick start, then you could set this to one. Usually this is when you get to two or three miles per hour, then the scooter will go when you hold down the throttle. This is to pretty much help prevent accidental hitting down the throttle and the scooter actually going. But I like it at instant start, so I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, P10 is not used. P11 is the electric brake strength. I have this set to two. It ranges from zero to three. The higher this number, the more that it will slow down uh, the stronger it will slow down, I should say. So they recommend level three. They basically have a warning that says level three is extremely powerful and should only be used by experienced riders. Please t test lightly at low speeds before use at high speeds. So this is basically saying, this is kind of like an electric car. When you let go of the throttle, it really slows down. Or if you have a stick shift, it's kind of like engine braking in a sense where you're not really using the brakes because it's not using the regular brakes. It's using the regen brakes to regen the battery. So I kind of like this at a higher number, but again, some people don't. So it depends on you, but they do warn you against level three. So I'm gonna, I have it set to two. Two is fine now. I may change it later, but I like two for now. P12 is the acceleration strength. This is what I was mentioning earlier. So this goes from one to five. Now it's actually kind of funny because even in acceleration strength three, this thing can burn rubber from a zero start, which is pretty insane as long as it's in sport mode. 
So this thing is actually quite powerful for acceleration. So I ha I'm like, let me just boost it even a little bit more. But this is the most powerful it could be at five. So maximum acceleration. So I left it at four. P313 and P14 are not being used. P15, here's the one that got me. So this is the controller cutout voltage. So anywhere where I see voltage or anything like that, that's already set because the battery has a set voltage, stuff like that's not supposed to change. I just left that alone. So it's set to zero, I left that alone. But if you read the manual, it says that for a 52 volt battery, which is the one I have, and there's a sticker on the bottom that shows me this is the 52 volt version, it says recommended 43 volts. So I'm like, you know what, let me not touch that because it came like this and it should come protected from the factory. So I reached out to Apollo and they said, yes, set it to 43. I'm like, okay. I can't change this number. That's probably a good thing because it's probably set to 43 internally and I probably shouldn't even change it. So I'm not going to change it, but it's kind of funny that they did say yes, change it to 43. And then when I actually came to change it, it didn't actually change. So I'm assuming that this was actually done internally and you can't change this option for a very good reason otherwise you're just gonna break something so if i get an update on this i'll probably reach out to them again if i get an update on this i'll pin a comment or i'll put a link in the description below or i'll just put info in the description below if there is no link to go to uh with an update on this but otherwise i'm gonna leave this at zero i've been writing it for a while with zero it's been fine but I did get worried when I saw this that, oh, it should be at 43. Why isn't it at 43? So there we go. P16 is the odometer reset. Now, when I originally got this and I unboxed this, I accidentally reset the odometer thinking it was, thought, thought it was a glitch. But it turns out you can actually reset it because there's an option for that. So it says press gear up or gear down for two seconds to reset odometer. Now, when I played with this, I, I wrote it for another mile and I tried resetting it. Gear up for two seconds didn't work but gear down for two seconds did work so if you want to reset the odometer hold the gear down for two seconds in this mode and it'll reset it and p17 which is cruise control i don't i personally don't like cruise control on the scooters especially one that goes this fast i like to be able to fully control it i think that's what apollo recommends as well but they do have that option if you guys are interested. So you do keep a constant speed for five seconds and then it activates the cruise control. And there we go. After that, it's P18, P19, P20, which are not even in the manual, so they don't do anything. And again, recess to P1 and you're done. Now, when you're finished, you wanna save the settings. The way you save the settings is the same way you enter the menu is the same way you exit by saving. So you hold up and down simultaneously until you get to the menu and then you're done. You saved your settings and you're good to go. Now, I again, I will put these settings right after this. So check it out if you guys wanna look at this or just check out the manual on page 19. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.